Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. I have a thrift haul to share with you today, and this I think is going to be a really good one. It might be a little bit lengthy, I'm not sure yet, but I want to share with you everything that I picked up over this past week. It's from a couple of thrift stores in Raleigh, and then two estate sales that I went to just today with my friend Rhonda. Uh, let me see here. What do I want to get started with? Um, let me get started with a few things that I picked up from the North Raleigh Ministries. I went to both of their locations. This is the one that is off of Strickland Road in Raleigh. The first is a candle, which I have never, ever seen a candle like this before. If you have, let me know. And this is it. This is the most unusual candle like I said, that I have ever seen. So that you hold on to the candle with this apparatus here. And then I can't do it because you need your second hand. But as the candle burns down, my assumption is that the wax would pool here to prevent it from dripping and just making a big old mess. But then you would release this and then pull up and unwind this kind of rope candle here to burn additional candle. Now, I'm guessing somewhere you can find this kind of rope candle for it. This is very dusty, so it sat around somebody's house for quite a while. Oh, it does have... Oh, I thought I had some glasses up here. Oh, I do. Let's see if it says something on the bottom. This is, oh, it does not say who made it, which would be really helpful, but I'm sure you could probably Google this and find out where to get additional candles like this. I thought it was really cool. Now, I paid up for this for me. This was $8, so I'm going to have to at least, at the very least, charge $16 to get some 16 to 20 dollars in one of my booths to get um some money back on this but i thought it was just super cool never seen one like this before so that was from north raleigh ministries i also found this i guess they call this like a perpetual candle a perpetual can calendar uh this is from creative co-op so you know, you change out the month here and then the dates here. I want to do something to make it quite, not quite so dark. I don't know that I'm going to be able to paint the blocks that have the date on them and the month on them, but I should be able to do something with the holder that is it is in. So I picked that up. I forget who it is that I watch now, one of the other YouTube uh, channels that say they do very good in selling those kind of perpetual candles. So I'll see how I make out. I picked up these three birds and I know I'm late getting on the, oh, I showed you one. Here, now we have three. These three birds and I'm very late getting in on the baking soda and paint technique Oops, that folks had started sometime last year. But I thought that these would be very good for that kind of technique. You paint or you mix baking soda and paint and then you put it on whatever it is that you're doing. And it's supposed to give it kind of a cement look to it or concrete. So I thought these would be uh, good for that. So I picked those birds up. And then I, this I'm going to put these I'm going to put away in my stash for upcoming projects. And there really are handles to go on, you know, cabinets and drawers and that sort of thing. But these will make great little feet for projects. So I found two bags of these and one bag. I think these are from, might have been from Restoration Hardware. Uh, yeah, Restoration Hardware. These really chunkies. So they will be, like I said, good feet for some upcoming projects. 
just to put away in my stash. So that was from one of the North Raleigh Ministries. And in total, I spent just shy of $25 on that. No, wait, that's the wrong receipt. Um, that's the receipt goes there. Here we go. I spent 17 on that. Is that correct? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, 17 on that. Uh, one thing I got at the estate sale today, this was the second estate sale that we went to. They had it listed as an estate sale, but it was, it didn't seem like an estate sale. It was in a warehouse, a row of warehouses. And what they said they did, this was, I think they said like remnants of other estate sales and things from estate sales where people couldn't hold them in their houses and stuff. Anyway, um, it was very different. And I, this was the second day of the sale. So th most things were 50% off. I thought their prices were high. Uh, Rhonda did very well. She got um, a few furniture pieces that she's going to be flipping. The only thing that I bought was this, and it is not what you think it is. It looks like a switchblade. However, it is, hold on, come on now, it worked. Oh, come on now, am I pressing the wrong button? Oh, there we go. It's a comb. I thought that was so cool. And this has some age to it. This was made in Hong Kong. So that's an older piece. How cool is that? I just got it for the novelty of it. I just thought it was really neat. Never seen one like that before. So I picked that up at one of the estate sales. Uh, let me see. These things I picked up at... Recovered Treasures, which is that thrift store that is right down the street from me. I picked up, oops, this vintage hat. I thought it was very, very pretty. And I like the netting, how this kind of just falls over the face like that. And this little poof in the back, it's brown and, a t and tan. Um, now, this may have been elastic at one point. It is no longer elastic. And then I got these shoes for myself. I think these are just adorable. They are by El Elite, which are made by... Uh, oh, Corky's. I didn't realize that. But look how cute they are. Aren't they just adorable? I love them. These will be great. Just slip on and out the door that I will go with those. And then I got seven of these. I'll show that to you. Whoops. Let me show it to you. Yes. The proper way. And see if you know what this is. And then I will tell you. It's for holding... Um, Teacups and, and saucers, if you're going to display them. The teacup goes here, and the saucer stands right there. So I do have some teacups and saucers that I tried last year putting uh, candies and such in, and I thought, it was, I thought it was a great idea for selling. They did not go over well. Um, I think I sold two up at Gresham, and I did manage to sell one up at Main Street, um, but I still have the teacups and the saucers, so I thought I would display them on here. So I bought seven of these. That was all of them that they had. And I think that was all that I got at Recovered Treasures. Then, uh, let me see. I'm going to save the first estate sale that we went to. I'm going to save that. The other... North Raleigh Ministries that I went to, their location up on Brentwood Road. I got three of the mini flag holders. And believe it or not, they only had these for sale for a dollar a piece. So I have a couple of mini flags left up in my booth in Gresham. Actually, I think I have three left. 
So now I have flag holders to go with those. So we'll be putting those up in Gresham. Uh, hold on, let me put these on the floor. And then I got this guy. Now what I plan on doing with him, he's paper mache. I'm going to do a flip, a thrift flip with him. Coming up, I'm going to take this off and I plan on covering him with moss. I think it's going to look really, really cool. So that's going to be in an upcoming thrift flip. What else did I get down here? Oh, I bought this bowl. Now this is what I spent just shy of $25 all on. I just got, this is just a single bowl, but I thought it was so pretty. The black and white with just a little bit of the yellow and the bees. And it has a yellow trim here, a little bee inside. And this is from, oh, am I feeling a chip? Yes, I am. Darn it. Yep, a little, I'm talking <laughs> the littlest, teeniest, tiniest little flea bite right there. This is from Christine Anderson. You don't put it in the microwave and hand wash only. But the, I thought that was so, so pretty. You could use that as a larger berry bowl. I really liked that. Um, and these are just popping up left and right now. Another smiley face. Uh, this is from Napco. Now this one, as you can see, is missing quite a bit of the smile and an eye. So I am going to go ahead and paint the eye on and put the smiley face back on there. What else did I get? Oh, these are going to be in an upcoming thrift flip. These, There are three of these. These little boxes, wooden boxes. So I'll be doing something with these soon. And also with this, I thought this was really pretty. It's a metal container. I love the little feet on it. And then it's on this, uh, not really, it's not really a pedestal, but on this little platform. So I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do with this. do we have down here the other two boxes the other two wooden boxes this beautiful gorgeous perfume bottle it's a frosted glass let's see who is this by this is hand-blown glass Two's company let's see if I could see where this is made in oh heavens uh, Taiwan might be hand blown in Taiwan. I can't can't swear to that, but I thought that was a beautiful perfume bottle. So we picked that up, and then this I could not believe somebody didn't pick this up. I am going to do a floral arrangement in this. They originally had this marked at eight dollars look at the size of this now this one did not does not have a chip i don't know i think it might just be glass as opposed to crystal but it's very heavy and yellow the day i was there was a dollar so i picked this monstrosity up for a dollar but i am going to like i said fill this with florals i think that's a beautiful piece so let me kind of quickly put some of these back in here. Oops. And then ah, we can move on. All right. Um, next, I went to, y'all know my favorite, 
retails that I love going to. Now, you might remember the cream and sugar that I picked up by what Southern Living at Home. Southern Living at Home. Uh, one of my viewers uh, is picking up the cream, the sugar, and the tray. Well, I had remembered that there was, there were two cup and saucers there. So I went back, picked up the cup and saucer. Um, she was not interested in the cup and saucer, though, so these are available. But while I was there, I found, in addition, I found another little willow tree. There she is. And she is called, what is she called? Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't see what she's called. I know she has to have it. Oh, wait, it's probably on the tag because she's brand new. She still has her tag. Um, oh, she's Angel of Beauty. So I picked her up, this little girl. And then, you may have noticed in the uh, thumbnail for this video, I could not believe my luck. I picked up this lady. I know she's vintage. I've tried to find a uh, manufacturer on her. I could not find a manufacturer on her. She has the, her metal pole ah, is adjustable so she can go higher and lower. And then she has, oh boy, four little legs that she stands on. Yeah, I cannot find, I've really got to look even deeper on her. She zips all the way up the back. Now she does have a teeny bit of, yeah, the cover on her has a teeny bit of um, a tear right there. And she's got some, oh no, that might just be, yeah, a little bit of dirt on the back and such. I don't care. When I came around the corner, I saw her and my eyes must have done one of those cartoon, cartoon googly things when they pop out of your head. And then I saw the price because I thought, oh, this is going to be way more than I can, will pay, can pay. Yeah. Ten dollars. I <laughs> picked her up because I had a small cart, picked her up, I tailed it up to the counter. Can I leave this here while I go finish shopping? Oh, sure. Ten dollars. I paid ten dollars for her. Couldn't believe my luck. So if I had not gone back to pick up these two cups and saucers, I never would have gotten her. Never. So, yay. I'm so excited for her. She is going to go into one of my booths, but I am going to price her very high because I don't want to sell her. But I want to put her in the booth because I I want to put my vintage, like vintage clothing on her. I think she's going to be just perfect. It'll draw attention to the fact that I have vintage clothing in my booth. I just love her. I, was, I, I couldn't be more happy. So, oh, and I have to come up with a name for her. That's what you can help me with. If you have a name for her, put it in the comment section down below. And I'll let you know if I choose one of the names that, that you all put down there. Uh, next, we can go on to the estate sale. This was a good estate sale. It was the second day. So everything, uh, not just most stuff, everything was half off. Uh, first, I, I vacillated on this, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. This is a beautiful raised a uh, tray but it gets better it's a lazy susan six dollars six dollars i paid for this and it was made by a furniture company it even has a plaque on the back of it the pain p-a-i-n-e furniture company boston massachusetts i don't know if you're going to be able to see that this is this is beautiful I mean, I just have to clean this up a little bit. That is gorgeous. 
I'm going to use it as a display piece initially up in the booth and put a price on it. It's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let me see. With Easter just around the corner. Oh, I've got fuzzies on me. Uh, let me see. I got this. I never knew that there was such a thing as vintage uh, Walmart, right? Is this? Yep. Yeah. There it is. And here's a piece of it right here. This paper mache bunny with the wrap, with a holding a carrot. Here he is. I don't know the year though, but you could just tell this was made in the Philippines. He is a large paper mache rabbit. Um, he was originally twelve ninety six, but if you look at the tag, you can definitely see that that is a vintage tag on there. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, barcodes, we started using those around 72, 1972, something like that. So I got him, and then I got him, also vintage Walmart. And I think Rhonda picked up his little um, identical twin. And he was originally $6.96. And I also found this little box, which was originally $4.46. So I picked these all up, and I'll have to hurry and get those into the booth in time for Easter, which is next weekend. And then this was up in the attic. This was a super, super cool find. This was only originally $25, so I got this for half price. This would be a little girl's baby doll stroller. And I'm pretty sure that this is a vintage stroller. I do not think this is a repo. And I say that because I mean you can't really see inside, but the way that it is made... The little nails. Um, oh, if you can look at the wheels. The little, um, I don't know, gosh, my brain is, is just, I'm gone. But whatever this thing is called. <laughs> um, these little handles that you pull this up with. The latch that keeps it up. I think this is authentic. The real. I think this is the real deal. Uh, look at the, the, the detailing here. Isn't this beautiful? So this is going up into the booth. I really just have to clean it out. Like give it a good vacuuming and a good uh, dusting. Uh, I might uh, put pillows in it or something originally. Or it's like to start off with. But I definitely am going to price that. I just love that. I think it's it's just beautiful. So that, I think, my friends, is everything. So I've got a couple of thrift flips to do with you. Um, and then I've got to price some stuff quickly to get it up into the booth in time for Easter. So let's see. My favorite. Oh, I'm really, I'm very happy with everything that I got. Let's see. Hey, Lewis, do you have a favorite, buddy? You haven't given us a Lewis Likes in a long time. You have something that you like, huh? Uh, oh, well, I shouldn't even have to think about it. My girl here, this is my favorite, absolutely without a doubt. That's my favorite. So, well, Lewis is still giving it a thought here. Um, if you had a favorite or favorites from this haul, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite find or favorite finds were from this haul. And if you have a thought on what I should name my mannequin, go ahead and put that down in the comment section down below. And then in my next video, if I uh, pick one of your names, my next haul video, I will let you know what name I chose for her. And Lewis, 
Do you have a favorite, buddy? Oh, he's giving the hat kisses. Okay, that's Lewis's favorite. He chose the vintage hat. Okay, Lewis. Didn't know that was your style, but there we go. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And you know what to do. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Go ahead and share it with folks that you know enjoy thrift haul videos. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy thrift haul videos and kitty cats <laughs> and uh, thrift flip videos and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything that's coming up. And until my next video, folks, please take very good care of yourselves. Thank you again for watching. And uh, until next time, take care good care of yourselves. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.